Hi, this is Nathan, aka Fascinate from Lansego, coming with you with our first ever box opening video. I thought Double Masters would be a great uh, start for the box opening videos that we have, just because it's such a lottery ticket. You'll never know, you kind of know what you're going to get, but we could get a box that you know is worth not even how much we paid for it, or we could get a box that's worth more than double than what we paid for it. So there's a lot of foils, a lot of rares. I think this would be a very exciting way to start a box opening video. So uh, before we go, or before we start, let me go ahead and get hydrated here. Okay, let's go. So as you see here, I have a box of unopened masters here. Um, I promised on stream that I would kiss Debo on the lips if I actually got a uh, box topper of Force of Will. So I know Debo's looking forward to it. So hopefully we'll get that Force of Will box topper so his dreams will come true. Getting taking the plastic off here, opening the box, as you see right here. Got the got the box topper right here. Here we go, everyone. Let's. Let's uh, cross our fingers as I open this up. Okay, I opened it up on the good way. It's backwards. So let's see here. First box topper is Chrome Mox. This is pretty good. I, I'm not going to lie. This is a box topper that uh, I don't own a Chrome Mox. So I'm actually pretty excited about Chrome Mox. Let's set this over here so everybody can see that one. Last one. Toxic, toxic deluge, toxic deluge. Um, yeah, so this is another one. I, don't, I think uh, Wizards actually promised that we weren't getting two mythics, so I didn't get two rares, so that's good. Got a pretty good mythic here. This is a, this is a playable card. I did not have this card, and the art looks pretty great. It's a little, uh, it's a little muddled, but it is that horror theme that I love. So we got the box toppers. Let's set those right over here, and now we will start with the actual box itself. So here we go. Got our pack here. A little bit easier to open. Let's see here. Commons. Gonna go through here. These real quick. Bone quit picker. That's something that a lot of the popper players have been really um, asking for. Chatter the squirrel. I love uh, squirrel cards. Back in the back in the day, I, I had a squirrel deck. So now we got to the rares. We have a Savage Born Hydra. Okay, we got a Mythic Arkham. Da Daxon. Now this is another one that really needed reprinting um, because uh, it, it's a old card that uh, uh, commander players are playing, but not too much else. Uh, then we got the foil divest, whatever expedition map, just ban and popper. But it's gonna be a great when I start my Tron, um, my Tron deck. Next pack here. Let's see. We got our. We're going to go through our commons here real quick. A lot of, uh, a lot of commons that are still in a uh, in the set today. Okay, Vampire Hex Mage. That's a good one. for. Uh, there, not only did we have a Tron reprint, we also had a uh, Mart Lodge reprint. So this is going to be good for that. Oh, Naginta. My Naginta, my Naginta. Okay, we got Boon Reflection as a rare. And Godo Bandit Lord, Warlord is rare. Our... Um, our foil card's not that great this time around, but we did get the Merit Lodge token. There's only two of these actual tokens. Uh, they reprinted Merit Lodge in the last master set. You get a token that way. So those are actually pretty interesting tokens just because that's a pretty popular card that's played, but uh, don't really see too much uh, of the tokens unless you uh, open up the old master set. So, okay, got our first piece of Tron land here, Urza's Mine. I'm actually really glad I didn't get that as a box topper. We were talking that before the video. Not a whole lot there, because um, I own so much Tron land. Okay, so rares aren't really that exciting here. We got the Ion Storm and a Reshape. Um, also, our uh, our foils are not that great either. We got Goblin Gavalier and Crushing Vines. Uh, so far, that pack it was not that great. So we've had one good pack so far. We got that Arkham, or Arkham Daxon, which mostly holds rare uh, value just because of it. It's not been reprinted. Okay, Ancient Stirrings, great common there. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna build Tron out of this. So I think that's one of the big things. Is Tron's gonna be quite a bit. Uh, 
cheaper to play. So we got a land, Mystic Gate. Those hold pretty good value. I also don't uh, have a lot of these. It also spoiled Oubliette. So hopefully we get an Oubliette in here, but this also spoils Oubliette in the text here. Sword of Warden Peace, not the not the best card. You know, it's not the, it's the Fire and Ice, but it is a very, very good sword. Rares are the foils. So we got Golem Sand Gauntlets. We did get a foil rare Magus of the Will. Um, not great as far as uh, as value goes there, but it is an awesome looking card. Um, and in foil, it looks pretty cool too. Okay, next pack here. A braid is another downshift that uh, people, uh, the uh, popper people love. Chromatic star, that's pretty exciting for me. I was wanting some of those. Another another Urza land. Okay, lightning greaves is another great reprint there. Okay, good. We got another uh, land, Fetid Heath. Great to add to the collection. Tempered Steel, not that exciting, but it is a great arena card. Uh, Pyrite Spellbomb and Shift are our uh, foils. Clue Token, always always a cloud, crowd pleaser with the Clue Tokens. Okay, next pack. Heartless Pillage, Clear Shot, Might. Another Pyrite Spellbomb, Brainstorm. Great card. Very, very overpowered, especially the common for one blue. Okay, got another reflection that they reprinted. Next rare, Conjurer's Closet. So we got some interesting rares here, not anything that great. So foils, Parasite Strix, and then Welding Jar, another great uh, card that gets played quite often um, in older formats. Um, very powerful for what it does. Next we go, going through the commons again. Okay, another Ancient Stirrings. I think that might give me a play set of Ancient Stirrings now. So we're getting closer to having our um, having our Tron. Uncommons, Cranial Plating is an amazing card. That'd be, that'd be great in, a, in Limited here. For rares, we got Disciple of Bolas, Maze of Ith. So this is another one. The You can't get any better than that old art that you have no idea what's going on in. But this looks pretty cool, and I like uh, I like uh, these old cards getting reprinted to get some value. Uh, again, not great on the um, the foils. Did get an Eldrazi spawn token, though. Okay, next pack. Again... Going through the commons here. Nothing too exciting. Got another Vampire Hex Mage. That's a great one for the uncommons. Sunforger. Sunforger is a pretty pretty good card. Um, uh, goes with a, a lot of the equipment decks. Um, one something I didn't have. Be great to have. Thrag Tusk is another great mid range card. Um, uh, so another card that I didn't have. So we got the Thraben Inspector and a Divest as the um, as the uh, foils. Uh, Thraben Inspector is a very playable common. Um, I was really excited about playing it uh, in Pioneer with the uh, the Helia combo deck, but uh, I don't know how much that's, if that's going to be a deck anymore uh, after the uh, Walking Ballista banning. But anyway, here we go. Tumble Magnet uh, is a pretty interesting common. A lot of these uh, commons are very. Um, I would say uh, limited playable. This would be a great limited set to play. Unfortunately, none of the uh, none of the local card shops are playing here. So we get another dual land, not well dual land, but uh, the one of the lands that the buddy lands that they uh, they reprinted, Suck and Ruins. Great, great card for my collection. Champion of Lambolt. This is one that has been reprinted quite a bit. Um, it's losing value pretty quickly. Uh, Angel token, another two. Um, not great. Treasure keeper, Mearsmith, as far as uh, as far as foils go. So so far, we're not 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 having the best value. We we had a pretty good box topper opening, and but haven't had a lot of a lot of uh, fun cards since then. So lightning axe is a good reprint. It gets played a lot in... Uh, so uh, the Argivian Restoration is also another card that I, I like quite a bit. I have an old version of it that's very, very worn. Uh, Invigorate's another great for Infect decks. Okay, Aether Sworn Canonist and Worm Coil Engine. Okay, 
Our Tron deck's coming along pretty good here. Wormcoil Engine is another card that I really have really, really wanted. Uh, Lightning Axe in Foil and Whisper of the Wilds in uh, Foil as well. That Foil Lightning Axe is pretty sick. I like that quite a bit. Hopefully it won't curl on me. No, but I, I'm not holding my breath on that one. But that Foil Lightning Axe is amazing. Worm Coil Engine's pretty exciting there. Glad we, uh, glad we got that opened. Um, going through the commons again. Got the power plant. I believe that gives us Tron. I think we got each piece of Tron now. Unlicensed Disintegration's good. Okay, Mesmeric Orb is a great card uh, for mill strategies. Um, that gets played a lot in modern, uh, modern kind of jank decks. And Blood, Blood Spore Thrynax, uh, another great rare. Tokens, uh, again, the, the foil's not great with Flare Husk and Enlarge. So, um, my lovely assistant has pulled up the Chrome Mox uh, box topper for us. $63 right now it's going for. So, that's about a, about a fourth of what the box went for. So, one card right there is what the box went for, uh, just in the, the extra cards that you, we got here. So, Chrome Mox, great, great uh, box topper there. Okay. Commons again, another Argivian Restoration. Crib Swap's a good removal. Hidden Stockpile's a great uh, card. Saw a lot of play. Heat Shimmer. Sculpting Steel. Sculpting Steel is a, is a very interesting um, copy spell uh, that you can do some wild stuff with. And then with our foils again, Dragon Sorrow and Apprentice Wizard. Not, not super exciting with the foils there. Okay, here we go again. Cast Down's another great uh, popper uh, card for popper now with the downshift. It's one of the best, it's probably about the best removal you can have in popper now because there's not a whole lot of, uh, of um, oh, doubling season. There we go. This is a card that we also talked about that I really wanted. Um, I did not have any copies of doubling season. Great commander card. Really only need one and I got it. Amazing there. Okay. Oh, here we go again with our foils. We got Strength in Arms, not that exciting. Phyrexian Revoker as a uh, as a foil. That's really great. And Doubling Season is a card that's been holding its value mostly because of Commander players. It's almost forty dollars now. Um, so there we go. There's like a hundred dollars worth of value just in two cards from this Double Masters. Like I said, it's a very very um, lottery ticket, uh, but it makes it a lot of fun. But, at, uh, but on stream the other day, we were kind of talking about um, uh, if there was any popper legendary creatures, and there actually are. Um, they're not great. You wouldn't play them in popper, but they are, uh, but they are there. Worm Coal Engines, we just found out is another $20, so that's $120 for three cards there. It's also a playable card. It'll go up after the set has been released for a little bit. Okay, Vish Call Blood Arbiter. This is another... Um, great popper or not popper great commander um card um it sees a lot of playing commander uh, another card i don't have that i really want so i'm glad we got that trestodon is our last rare there orcish vandal and glaze fiend as our foil cards so the first part of the the first part the first few packs not not great, but we have come, we are coming full circle, full circle here with some of the uh, very playable cards here. Okay, now Bone Picker again, back with the very popper, popper people are very happy about that card. Pongify, great removal spell, used a lot in Commander. Trash for Treasure is a, uh, is a great combo card. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No one's happier than I am right now. Debo. Lucked out. It wasn't the box topper, but we did get a Force of Will here. Uh, Force of Will is a card that I've wanted for a long time. Uh, never could justify paying for it. Um, finally got one. Uh, very excited here. Uh, it is $93 right now. So $100 just for this. So we have, we're, at, we're about $240 and about four or five cards now. 
So we, we, we've made our value back on the box. I spent a little under 300 for it. Um, if you combine the rest, and we still got more packs open, folks. So uh, Force of Will, amazing, amazing right there. I am incredibly happy. Um, our other rare, Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, another good, um, uh, this is why this is how aristocrats got their name if it wasn't for they wouldn't be called aristocrat decks if it wasn't for this card uh the the foils again just commons uh nothing too exciting so yeah i can't believe can't believe i got the uh the force of will that's amazing that and the jace are the cards that i'm really wanting so maybe we'll see a jace here before too long okay commons again Another brainstorm. That'd been great to have in the uh, Force of Will. Thirst of Knowledge, great draw card. Very, very good. Okay, got another land, another the, the buddy lands. Grim Lava Mancer. This is another one, not not great on value, but it's a card. It's a it's a historic card that I've really wanted. Uh, got the foil of braid. To go to go if I ever do want to play Popper sometime. It's just a great card in general. Very, very good removal. Okay, here we go with our commons again. Okay, Overflowing Chalice is a very interesting card. You got another piece of Tron. I'm gonna be able to build, I'm gonna get four of all of the Tron lands just from this. Is it Charm? Great card in Pioneer, used in a lot of decks. Okay, Inkwell Leviathan is the rare. Um, pretty, this would have been a great pull. This would have been a bomb pull in Limited, but uh, not great in box. I mean, Bosch Iron Golem is a very interesting card. Uh, it's it's from the 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 Mirrodin block of sets that I, that I really enjoy. Um, very interesting card. You can do some cool things with it. I bet it'd be I bet it'd be a fun commander. I don't know enough about commander really to uh, to speculate on it too much how much play it gets, but I think it'd be a really fun cam a commander to play. Okay, another another piece of Tron there. Hinder's a great counter spell. Ishran's, Se she uh, Ishran's Scepter is a uh, very cool combo card as well. Council's Judgment, amazing removal. Those are great ones to have. Another Surge Node and Cloud Re Reader Sphinx as our foils. So our foils have been kind of hit and miss here. We got the Phyrexian Evo Revoker, which was a pretty good one. And then we got the Magus of the Will. Um, but everything else is in pretty much common. Okay. Here we go again. Another piece of Tron. We get we get a piece of Tron in almost every other pack. Mirror Retriever, uh, another great downshift uh, to a common or to a common for Popper. Uh, one of the more powerful commons now. Blasphemous Act. That's another one of. This is a great removal spell. Risk the the Risk the Redeemed. Another great commander. So, going forward, we know this. We know this entire year was about commander and you could really tell from this double masters there's a lot of great value here but a lot of just stuff good stuff for commander in general um commander commander players got a really big boost when it came when it comes to this uh this set okay spell sky is a very very good uh very very good card here we got we got some phyrexian mana here which was uh very um is very overpowered. Another card I was really looking forward to, Noble Hierarch. This card uh, is a is a uh, mo is a modern staple. Um, I was able to get one in the last semester. Says I got another one here, so I do want to get a play set of those. Great, great card. That adds a lot of that adds some more value to. I'm not sure. I know I know at one point in time it was a fifty sixty dollar card. It's been reprinted twice now here pretty recently, so it's probably not that much again or anymore. But uh, but a great great card, very powerful, especially if you play modern. Uh, looks like it's it's holding around twenty now. So just so now in six cards we've made our we've made our box back. Uh, Ariok Salvagers is another great combo card that we've seen throughout the years. Okay, now we guys got a, a non foil Frexian Revoker and a duplicate. Duplicate is another. I was playing uh, pretty heavily back when duplicate was created. Uh, was around at that time. It's a very interesting kind of removal um, slash uh, copy card. 
So already, we've already got our uh, value back in our uh, boxes, just uh, on our box and just on like five or six cards here. So I can't complain. Um, I know I know this is gonna make me want to go and buy another box of, uh, of double masters here but uh, if I know if I know my luck from the last master set that I bought two boxes of okay this is one uncommon that I've really wanted Mishra's bobble it's a very uh, it's played in very it's another modern staple it's a great uh, draw card um, that it's recursive uh, another one I'm going to try to get a play set of Mishra's bobbles I'm glad I got one here uh, yeah, my was embraced. I think I actually have this at rare from the uh, from the invasion set. Okay, for rares here, Deep Glow Skate and Archangel of Thune. It's a uh, it's a mythic. It seems pretty powerful here. I don't know how um, how playable it is, but it does it does seem very powerful. Treasure Mage is not bad, not a bad foil there. Okay, so we're down to two two packs left, folks. Two packs left. I already can't complain. I got a lot of the cards that I want. That actually, that Archangel of Thune is twelve bucks itself. So, so we're 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 going over three hundred dollars of value already with this. So I can't complain with this box at all. I got the Force. Of, if I would have opened up, you know, just just crap rares besides that Force of Will, I would have been happy. Okay, Exploration, another great uh, a great playable card. Merciless Eviction, one of the, one of the most uh, versatile removal spells there are, and then a Cranial Plating in uh, Foil, great Foil card there. Okay, last pack. Let's let's see if we can't get uh, get another Force of Will here. That might be asking for a little too much, but uh, that's awesome. Uh, um. Oh, that exploration. Okay, I didn't realize that that was that's also itself as a 20 dollars card. So another expedition map, wanting those. Fatal push is a great reprint. Oh, here we go. Last last pack got an oubliette. It, it was the card that everyone was uh, wanting, especially in Popper. Finally got the oubliette. Okay, we got our mythic here, Maelstrom Nexus. Uh, yeah, oubliette itself is almost five bucks. So, um, so that just an uncommon. So Maelstrom Nexus, another another uh, mythic here, uh, very powerful sp uh, spell there. I bet that's uh, and then Grand Architect as our rare as our mythic and our rare at the very end. Not too bad. And then our last two foils are some commons. So so folks, let's look here. So we got our we got our Chrome Mox. And our toxic toxic deluge as our box toppers here. As far as uh, you know, great value cards, uh, worm coil engine, of course, the force of will, um, which has just just made my day. You have no idea. I've been waiting to open this box for a few days, and uh, that force of will just really really makes my day. There, we got the archangel there. Uh, Toxic Deluge itself, we looked that up as a is forty dollars, so we have a hundred dollars in value just in the Chrome Mox. So we got sixty or with the with our box stopper. So we got sixty for our Chrome Mox, forty for our Toxic Deluge. We got around a, about ninety for the Force of Wheels. So that's hundred and ninety. Uh, you got the Worm Coil Engine at around I believe it was twenty. Uh, Archangel around thirteen. Just just some great uh, some great value here. We got a sword. We got a lot of the, the I, I believe the lands themselves are, are hovering around five bucks a piece. And we got three of those. Uh, exploration. We got our Mish, Mishra's Bobble. That's a very, uh, that's a very valuable card. Doubling, can't forget about doubling season. foil there we got several vampire hex mage or arkham daxon which is another you're probably gonna see the value of it go down some uh just because it's such a um it's, it's mostly one of those one it's kind of like imperial recruiter it need to be reprinted just because it was old 
So that's it for our first ever box opening video. Please leave a comment below, and if you like our content, please subscribe. Uh, hopefully this is the first of many, and this is Nate from Land Say Go, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our content, you may like these as well. And if you want to support our channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, or use our TCG affiliate link found in the description below. Thanks.